sustainability background and this is my first TEDx in relation to sustainability. It's great that it's in Abu Dhabi. I think it's a tremendous step forward to hold this in this region, in the Middle East, which uh, has its own set of environmental challenges. It is with great pleasure today that I open the third annual TEDx WWF here in the capital of UAE, Abu Dhabi, on behalf of WWF and Emirates Wildlife Society, better known as EWS WWF. Today is about hope. Today is about ideas, it's about inspiration, and it's about challenging the status quo because nobody's going to fix it for us. The only people who can fix the challenges of environmental security on the planet are us all. The greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. Earth Hour was designed as a platform to help you do something. It was built for you. It belongs to you. And there's much magic to be done. Of the 7 billion people in the world, less than 0.00001% will ever see and experience one of the world's most amazing frontiers, the geographic North Pole. In April 2010, I became one of those lucky few, and also the first Arab woman to ski the last degree to the North Pole. Today, I'd like to share with you just a little bit about what happened out there and how it changed the way I think about learning. We're human beings. And to be true to ourselves, we have to help to raise everybody everywhere to a decent standard of living while protecting as much of the rest of life as possible. Did you know that according to the Carbon War Room, each year we produce over 1.23 trillion bricks worldwide? There is a better, cleaner, and more sustainable way to make bricks. Why use fire to harden them when you can grow them? As humans, we have just begun discovering the millions of strategies, processes, and systems that exist in the natural world. So let nature be our guide, and let us tune our antennas and listen to what she has to say. I'm very proud to see the first uh, Emirati uh, uh, lady talking about her experience, uh, sharing with us. It's such an inspiring uh, moment. How can art provide new insight into the problems in this world? How can we fuse aesthetics and social function? And how can artists contribute to social and environmental sustainability? These three questions became the heart and soul of our practice. If sport could fight and cherish and protect human diversity, it could fight to protect and cherish biodiversity. In trying to find a very practical way in which to make a difference, I ask myself the simple and obvious question. How do we reduce energy poverty today? Not tomorrow, today. Everybody. Four and three and two and one. So how did that feel?
Yeah, you see? Rhythm is a universal language that transcends all boundaries. The choices you make have an impact. Now, the power is in our hands, and the choices that we make will influence our shared future. There was really a lot of empowering ideas, a lot of uh, uh, ideas that could really push the world in, into a sustainable path. The speakers today have just been shining like stars. They are spreading messages, they are spreading inspiration, they are an overwhelming force for change, for new ideas, and for progress to be made so that we can have one living planet.